The epoxy mission is a, an extended mission for the deep impact flyby spacecraft. After we went past Comet Temple 1 and drove an impactor into it, we spent a year or more observing extrasolar planets, and we are now on target for a flyby of Comet Hartley 2 on November 4. The flyby spacecraft will be going past Comet Hartley 2, which is a rather different kind of comet than was Temple 1. In particular, the nucleus is much smaller, but it's also much more active in releasing gas and dust. So we expect to find differences on the nucleus that would help us explain how the comet works. Every time we fly by a comet, we're surprised with what we see. We see new things that raise a lot of new questions. And so this is a really unique opportunity to, to be able to go in and do some straight up comparison between two different comets and being able to see what kind of features are common between them, what kind of features maybe are really primordial from when they were first uh, formed and are common to all comets, uh, what features change with each orbit as they come around the sun. We accomplished our primary mission back at Temple 1 in 2005, and now there's an opportunity to take the same instrument suite and go compare not only a new body, but a new comet. So we're staying within the same family of bodies that it was originally designed to study and be able to do straight comparisons from one comet to the other on what we see. We were conducting a, a survey of the southern sky in the red part of the spectrum, a photographic survey with the UK Schmidt telescope. And uh, every day after we do the photography at night, we develop the plates and then we quality control them. And it was during the process of quality control, scanning the plates, that I, I discovered uh, a faint, a very faint trail on the plate, which I suspected may be a comet. Two decades pass and you get an email and somebody says, wow, this NASA are going to fly uh, a spacecraft very close to the comet that you discovered 24 years ago. How do you feel about that? And well, you feel very excited uh, about it, and uh, it kind of brings it all back to you. Uh, but I can't remember exactly how I felt 24 years ago. <laughs> um, but but now I'm very excited.